I don't know if you've ever noticed this tension in life, but there seems to be a tension that, that always pulling on one of two directions, close and comfortable. And in most scenarios and in most relationships and in most spaces and places, you can choose to be one of two things. You can choose to be close or you can choose to be comfortable. So for instance, when you pass somebody on the street, they say, hey, how are you? And you say, good. You're choosing not to be close, you're choosing to be comfortable because you're not telling the truth because deep down you may not actually be good. And a lot of times as human beings, we opt for what's comfortable instead of being close. And in fact, Jesus meets us right where we're at. Romans chapter five, Paul writes this in verse three. He says, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. What is Paul saying here? He's saying that as a Christian, if you are following God, if you have brought him into your life and you are all about it, life is going to be tough. So don't opt for what's comfortable. Instead, choose to be close because it's only when you choose to be close to God that he can take your suffering, he can take your circumstances, and he can work it into something better that ultimately ends up leading to hope. One night, our son, he started coming into our bed. He didn't want to sleep in his bed. He got scared, and so he kept coming into our bed at like 2 in the morning, and I thought, I have to put a stop to this. And so I would start taking him back to his bed. As soon as he would wake me up, I'd walk him back to his bed, put him back to sleep, and then I would go to bed. It was exhausting parent stuff. One night, I get up, and my son had not come into our bed. He had not woken us up. And so I get up to go to the bathroom. I open the bathroom door. We have a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's, shared, it's right in between his room and our room. I open the door and I go to step into the bathroom and I kick something. I look down and it's my three-year-old son that I have just kicked on the floor. The first thought in my head is I just killed my child. I look, I check, I make sure he's still breathing. He is. I pick him up off the tile floor of our bathroom and I start carrying him back to his bed. And while I'm doing that, I'm thinking, what would possess a human being to sleep on tile, not even the bath mat, but tile? What would possess a human being? And then I, I got it. He was right on the other side of our door. And he knew that if he woke mom and dad up, he was going to get taken back to his bed, a place that he did not want to be. So my son got as close as he possibly could to mom and dad. And that's where he felt the peace to be able to sleep. And make no mistake about it, he was not comfortable. You cannot be comfortable on tile floor. But it wasn't about being comfortable for him in that moment. It was about being close. A lot of times in your life, things are going to pop up, situations, scenarios, hard relationships, and you can choose to be comfortable, and God wants you to choose to be close. Because it's only when you're close to God that he can work that suffering, he can work that pain, he can work the discomfort for his glory and for what we see in Romans chapter 5, ultimately for hope. So my encouragement to you today, don't be comfortable, get close to God.